Hello, fans, and welcome to tonight's game between the Maryland Terrapins and the Indiana Hoosiers. Number 23 has raised the bar for freshmen in college basketball. He'll definitely be one of the focal points tonight. This kid can beat you on both ends, Brad. He'll score on you on one on one and lock you up on the other. To me, it's the defense that puts this young fella among the nation's best this year. The Hoosiers will see that their offense goes through him tonight, Dick. The Hoosiers should be in for an easy one tonight, Dick. What do you see as the keys to their success? The keys are very simple, my friend. First of all, reward your big man for running the court. Get him some easy buckets in transition. Second of all, make sure every possession you have is a good possession. Don't turn the rock over. Lastly, you got to pound the board. Boards lead to wins, baby. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action and see what's in store for us. Jumps into the defender. Contact causes the shot to come off. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Inside. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Trying to pack it inside. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Going to move it around the perimeter. Now they work it around the perimeter. Fed the low block. There's a double team waiting there. The fake. Got a wide open look. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. Working around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. The shooting guard takes the feed. With the fake. Goes up for two. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. He's obviously carrying his team, Brad. His teammates need to follow his lead and join in on the action. Inside for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. It's crazy in here, Brad. He keeps the dribble as they reset. He fakes the shot. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Basic. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. The center gets the ball. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Scorches the net. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. He shows the sweet touch. Looking for a good shot. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Here's a double team. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. For two, perfectly executed. Gave it up. A little frustration right there. The center with the ball from the top of the key. 
Maryland is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. They're working around the arc. Turns it over. Full court pass. They just can't seem to miss. They've had a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. Nice fake. He looks at the hoop. There's the trap. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. He'll regroup the offense. That spin move's not gonna work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. The shooting guard gets the pass from downtown. Sinks it. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. And the jam. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. It's stolen. They run it up into transition. Oh, he's got hops like you, man. He got hops <laughs> like you. Yeah, it is pretty similar. Wow. I didn't realize my partner was a high riser. <laughs> stolen away. Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. There's a high screen. Vicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. On the dribble, gives it up, tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Picks off the pass. The shooting guard takes the pass. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. You don't see plays like this every day. Get that sucker out of the game, man. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. You're right. The student sections, the bands, and the crowd are always urging their team to victory like a sixth man. Inside. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. See if they've decided to go in another direction with things right here, Dick. It wouldn't kill them to get a little diversity in their play right now. For the bucket. 
great play to take that to the basket. For two, perfectly executed. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. On the outside, defense giving some room. Leans in. Too much contact there. It knocked him off balance a little. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, despite his performance, he has been unable to get his teammates all on the same page. There's a lot of confusion and lack of focus down here right by the bench. He continues to stress to them, relax, play your game. He can't do this alone, Brad. And the ball goes out of bounds. The post flashes up high if he wants it. My goodness, players these days and their athleticism basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do. <laughs> I'll tell you, it must be nice. They work it around the perimeter. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. Good fake. And he'll kick it back outside. Jumps in. That's good. Great anticipation defensively. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Great play to take that to the basket. Launches away. Indiana are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Entry pass in the paint. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. And I think she's right about that, Richie. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brown. We've said so many times, you have know, a great post play, you got a chance really to win. On the outside, fakes it. And the ball goes out of play. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vital, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Moving it around the perimeter. Had a momentary look from three-point land. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Here they come now on a turnover. He hammers it home. You can almost see that coming. They were a little bit lazy on a defensive end. Mr. Excitement with that jam. They'll work it around the arc. The senior's going to take a trip to the line and get the basket, Dick. That senior determination in a big game, Brad. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end, plus you get people into foul trouble. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. 
now they'll bring it up. Gets it back out. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. He nails the bucket. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Nick, that's what I call giving him the business. He's definitely giving him the business. I can do without that twatting, though. That was a definite blow to one team's composure. Let's see how or if this will affect the team. The ball goes out of play. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Pressure that basketball. He was doing a great job pressuring the ball and decided to go for the steal. A questionable decision, though, on his part because it resulted in a foul. Brad, that's what happened when the defense is too aggressive and looking for the steal. And, Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Fake gave it up. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. He went for the steal in the post and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. Double team now. Bad angle. On the outside. Unloads. Gets it to go. Here's another look at the play. They work the perimeter. With a rejection. It's a block party out there. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. He shoots from the elbow. Indiana have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. STOP. This place will be off the charts if they can get a stop here, Brad. He was guarding him tightly, and then he went for the steal. An unsuccessful attempt resulting in a personal foul. Hey, defenders must be confident they're going for a steal. If not, it'll often end up with a personal foul. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> he looks for three. They're nailing three balls at will right now. They're really hurting them with the three-point shooting. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Looking for a good shot. I love that block shot, Brad. Really gives you a lot of momentum. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. There they come with a double team to stop it. He shoots from the top of the key. That was nice. Pretty fired up and excited. I 
love seeing players play with emotion and passion. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Up and inside. On the dribble, gives it up. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. He takes a three. Indiana are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. They go inside, and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Goes in. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. He's got some room. He unloads a three. Great shot. Watch again. Defensively on him on the low block, Nick. I tell you, three quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Working it around the perimeter. Picked out of the air. Cross court. Moving it around the perimeter. Takes away the pass. Going to move it around the perimeter. He intercepts it. He goes with a jump hook. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. Steals a pass. Brad, if they were smart, they'd go two for one. They work it around the perimeter. Shoots it. He buries it. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Shot clock is dead. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. He throws it up from downtown. He drains the shot. At halftime, the Hoosiers are trailing by two. This one's too close to call here at the end of the first, Dick. Do you have a highlight of the half? In my opinion, Mr. Nessler, this trifecta is what set the tone for the offense in the first half. It represents the deep arsenal of threats this team has to offer. Second half about to get underway. Let's go down to the action. Indiana carelessly gave away a lot of possessions by turning the ball over. Their coach's staff must be livid right now. The amount of extra opportunities they're giving away is just absurd. Second half, Dick, our focus player update, and what's he got to focus on, or what do his teammates have to focus on? I think his teammates got to set him up somehow. They got to run some sets to get him free for some good shots. Gave it up. Picked off. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. For two. 
I love this guy hook. He cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brown, why don't more guys use him? On the outside. And this one's going to be a backcourt violation. Got to make good decisions with the ball, Brad. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. Out there, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. And he got them both. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards that they have. Yeah, that helps. He shoots from the top of the circle. It's good. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and real terrific block shot, though. He's a dominator blocking shots on the interior. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane, anticipating really well. He's got to get rid of it. They'll work it around the arc. Jumped in front to take it away. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. There's the pick. There's the roll. Indiana have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Goes for the deep one. He gets that one to fall. Run him right into the screen again. What did I say? He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. On the dribble, gives it up. They work it around the perimeter. They work the perimeter. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. Picks off the lazy pass. Gave it up. Good job defensively. And again, they look to run. Puts it up, looking for contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Intercepted. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Picks off the pass. A little bit of one man backcourt pressure. Moving it around the perimeter. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Big man spins down in the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. Look at the student section, Dick. Cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. Oh, yes, the student body. Always full of comedy and excitement. Now the turnaround jumper. 
I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. There's the block. Great effort defensively. He says, thou shalt not enter my lane, baby. Get it out of here. I'm the landlord. Oh, oh, young man, be careful. Taunting is definitely a no-no. That'll definitely rub the opponents the wrong way. High post flashes for the ball handler. They've left him completely alone. Trying to draw the foul. Basket falls despite the contact. He shoots from the top of the circle. He drains the three. On the dribble, gives it up. Takes it off him. I tell you, they all want to take it to the rack. High wire rack, baby. Little dipsy dude, Dunkaroo. And a momentary look from three-point land. There's the trap. Stolen. Gave it up. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Maryland are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Takes away the pass. Trying to draw some contact. Dick, they're ripping up the Nets tonight. And they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Picked out of the air. On the dribble, gives it up. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. What kind of energy are we looking at after that timeout, Dick? That's winning energy, baby. The team with the most energy and execution goes home with the big W. Gave it up. Double team now, bad angle. He strips him clean. They get out on the break. He hammers it home. At least you make the highlights letting him do that. Target. Looking for the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. On the dribble, gives it up. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating to the spot. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. I think they're trying to make a statement. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us. Aaron? Brad, before the game, the coach stressed to me this could happen. He told me it's so important for the supporting cast to get involved and not really rely on their one player. Right now, he's trying to get everyone on the bench on the same page. Thanks, Eric. Perfectly executed. Uh, 
makes little space, and that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Now they work it around the perimeter. Outside jumper makes it. Another turnover. We're not talking apple turnovers either. I sometimes wonder what it would be like to be a Skywalker. Elevating and throwing it down, Mr. Nestler. How much fun would that be? Hobbs handles the pass. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Top of the circle. He's money with the shot. The Hoosiers like to play a certain brand of basketball. Physicality is the name of their game. They hit the weights for one reason, so they can outmuscle their opponents. Oh, what a great shot. Got the bucket and the foul. He made a statement of play, baby. I ain't backing down. He's his cry. Dickie V, did you see that? That was a great play, but look at him now. He's celebrating with the cheerleaders. Hey, he's dancing, baby. A dancer. I never knew that. I'm surprised. He goes to the free throw line. Makes it. For a good shot. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. He shoots from left of the circle. They work the perimeter. Picked off. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help soft. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Time to pick up the defense here now. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. For two, perfectly executed. Here's a spin down to the low block. Okay, he's got a variety of moves. Use the sky hook, the jump hook, and now the spin move for the goal. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. Oh, what a strip, Red. Gave it up. There's a double team waiting there. It's stolen. On the dribble, gives it up. Got an open look if he wants it. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Up, easy one. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. He strips him clean. 
Now an opportunity the other way. There's a high percentage shot. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. Gave it up. There they come with a double team to stop it. Strips the ball. They push it up on the break. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous? Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. Definitely a foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. High post flashes. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. You can appreciate this more after watching the replay. Up it inside. On the dribble, gives it up. Looking for contact. He drains the bucket. The Hoosiers trail by 13. Working it around the perimeter. He puts up the three ball. He shows the sweet touch. Jumped in front to take it away. a chance to make it a three-point play. Yeah, good second effort to stay with it right there. Did a great job attacking the defense. With one attempt. Good. Nick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Goes up for two. That's eight unanswered. Big finish coming here, partner. I'm not going anywhere. Hey, down the stretch, there are so many factors that could become the difference maker. Turnovers, missed free throws, rebounding. I wonder what it will come down to in this game. He goes for the trifecta. He gets it to fall. Four four in, four, four, three. Takes the pass in the paint. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Stolen. Ziegler draws the personal. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. The Terrapins are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. First one, good. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Nothing but nylon, NBN. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. From right of the circle, gets it to fall. Looking to move it around the perimeter. On the outside. The 
work it around the arc. He looks for the bomb. He drains the bucket. They work it around the perimeter. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. Here's a flash from the high post. He fires away. Got it! Picks off the pass. Long down court pass for the bucket. Off the rim and no good. He knocks down another bucket. Down. This kid's got skills, Brad. Intercepted. He shoots from right of the circle. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. Takes away the pass. The shooting guard receives the ball. Good move using the pro hop to draw the foul. Hey, the defense is a little slow reacting there. Just play, son. Just play. Let your game do the taunting. He is going to the line. Gets the first shot. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Makes the second shot. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Gave it up. For the deuce. Knocks it down. On the dribble, gives it up. Steals the pass. The point guard with the ball. Oh, right, right there, they missed him inside. You gotta get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special art, feeding the post. Ten seconds to put it up. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. We got a timeout on the floor, and with that, let's go courtside to Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their teams down. With this much time remaining, they're stressing play smart basketball and take care of the ball. Aaron's right about that, Dick. Let's get back to the action. Look at that spacing. Gave it up. The shooting guard gets the ball. There's the trap. Pump fakes. On the outside, Gant receives the pass. You need to create as many possessions as possible, so keep falling. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. And yet another foul. Well, Dick, it's obvious to me that they are starting to heat things up right now. I'll tell you one thing. They're getting good shots, and they're making them count. They're in a groove, baby. And when they're in a groove, that court looks like an unbelievable Atlantic Ocean instead of a teapot. As we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. Makes the front end of the one and one. Second one, good. 
Seven points right now is the difference in this one. Hey, Brad, seven points is no safe haven. You got to keep pressing. He tries the three ball, makes the shot. Shot clock is dead. And the clock stopped with a foul. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, you get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. Misses the front end of the one and one. They need points on this possession, baby. to start things up again. That makes it a four-point lead. These kids are here to fight, Brad. Penetrates and kicks back. He lets it fly. Foul them early and give your team a chance. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Brad, I think he'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. I like it when the team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and off it. Makes the second. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Can we expect a little change in direction here, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if the schemes change somewhat. The lead trickles down to four. Time is either your best friend or your worst. Goaltending violation. Turnovers, Dick. They just kill you every time. I'll tell you, Brad, they sure do. You must keep the number to a minimum in order to maximize your number of shot attempts. And the clock stopped with a foul. He'll visit the charity strike. Gets the first. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Gets the second shot. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. The player's got a much-needed breather with that timeout. He lets it go. Rims out. Indiana find themselves on the losing end of a good game. After a loss like this, you have to question their ranking. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.